Hello my YouTube world, this is Johnny Mo. Uh, going to do a special question and answer video for uh, Blake for b and He asked a big question. He asked me, how, did I kn how do I know what each loan cost me? And the reason why I know that is because I do a time study. As you can see here, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is today's timesheet. Um, I printed this out and so what I do is before I go to each loan, I'll put time in and time out. Um, I do this every day. First of all, it keeps me on track to make sure that I, I'm, I'm on schedule on each lawn. Um, um, little notations I make is like um, on the sides, like if I took a 15 minute break, I'll, I'll, I'll put that in there. And at the end of the day, what I'll do is I'll, I'll add them all up and see how much I made and see which each lawn cost me. Um, and I'll break it down for an hourly rate on each lawn. Now, you don't have to do that all the time because you basically will know. Like I know now since it's been raining so much, the lawns are growing to a foot, it's taking me a little bit longer. So it helps me to understand um, for the time studies, how long it's taking me, how long it takes me. And I keep these for years. I have a whole file folder full of these scheduled jobs and how many jobs I do and, and how long it takes to do each lawn. And then what I'll do is every once in a while, I'll get out, I'll take one say from May, I'll take one for, say from July, and then I'll take one from September, and then I'll average out the time on that lawn and I'll get an average cost for that lawn. What that, how, how much money I'm making per hour on that lawn. And then once you know how much you need to make per hour, then you can know how much, is that lawn making me money or is it losing me money? And if it's losing me money, what can I do to make it money? So basically, when you do your taxes or, or when you you know do your numbers and add all all of your stuff together and you find out what it costs to run your business per hour each of these lawns needs to be making you that dollar per hour that needs to run your business and like I said in the previous video um, to this you need to know your numbers to that point before you start hiring before you start uh, making all kinds of moves making sure that each and every lawn is making you money there are some lawns that you take because they're favors or you know because you're not really trying to make money on them um, and there are some lawns that maybe are adjacent to each other and you know you might give it a little bit of a discount because they're right next door to each other the problem is when one of them leaves then you get screwed <laughs> but that's how I do that um, Mr. B&B &B, Johnny Mo. Uh, uh, I run time studies and because of the program that I run um, you don't have to run that but you know I just print them out every day every day I print out a, a work worksheet for my lawns and then I run the time in time out and I just take a look every every so often make sure I'm making money on these lawns. what's this lawn cost to me am I hitting the dollar per hour um, you know you can go overboard with that also you can get to the point where you're so money conscious that the the work becomes you know, you just get tired of it, and then you run from lawn to lawn to lawn to lawn, from you know, from lawn to weed eater to blower to lawn to weed eater blower. I mean, it just, you know, it'll get in your head. But at the same time, you have to know if you're making money. You have to know um, how do you, how are you doing this? How how are you? You know, what's your fuel cost for the week? You know, I keep my receipts. Um, you know, I think last week I used 47 gallons of fuel total. Um, so you add that times that by whatever the fuel cost was that's your fuel cost for that week um, you know every day I run a little bit of a profit and loss I'll, I'll do max dollars in what I spent for that day and you know subtract and we'll make sure and at the end of the month you know if you run that every day like I do on on a computer program um, like I've showed you in the previous videos um, you you'll basically know if you're making a profit or a loss um, I don't run QuickBooks. I'm not a big QuickBook fans. Um, the only, I've explained this in other videos why I don't use QuickBooks. One of the main reasons is because of um, there's no scheduling feature in it. And like I said, my book work is done easy. I've showed you all that in another video. But I wanted to answer your question. I wanted to give you you know a quick answer, a little video. But to answer it because it's too hard to type all that. Um, but basically, I just do time studies on on each and every lawn. You know, every day I route them. I try to make sure they're routed real tight. If I'm if I'm going to be in this section of town on this day, I want to make sure that I'm doing all those lawns in that section. 
if I'm in that section, I want to make sure I do all those lawns. That, that way you can make maximum profitability on each and every lawn. And, you know, sometimes you, do you really have to put time in, time out every week? No, I do um, just because um, kind of gives me a little bit of baseline. Like I'll go back like a month ago. Okay, I was at this property at this time. It was about one o'clock, so I'm there at 1250. It kind of gives you like a little little bit of competition just to, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm right on track. Uh, I generally don't like to work, you know, all day and all night. You know, I used to when I was younger, but as you get older, you just, you just don't, I just don't want to. And you start working to seven, eight o'clock at night every single day. You, you'll hate your life. You know, you might like your job, but you can only do that for so many years. And you're trying to pile a lot of work in about eight months and it's, it's hard to do. So that's your answer. Time studies. Um, first of all, you know, do a profit loss on your business at least once a week. I believe you should at least do it once a week. I do it every day just to give me an idea of what, what, <clears throat> you know, what, what's going through the business. Like I said, I wake up every Monday. I pay from Monday morning. I pay the next 10 days worth of bills. So that goes against, that goes on to the, the loss side. So on Monday, I start off with a loss. So I pay all the bills for the next 10 days and then generally I'll get gas at some point in Monday or Tuesday and then as I come home Monday like tonight I'll write in um, I wrote in how much I did today so that'll go on my profit side uh, the, the max dollars that I did for that day and then you subtract it from from the loss that day so say I get gas tomorrow when I'm doing the book work in the morning I actually do the book work in the morning first thing in the morning when I get up I'll put Okay, I got gas that day, so I'll put in the receipt. Let's say it was $110. Say $110 will go in the loss of that section. Say I had a breakdown that day and I had to go do a repair. I'll put it in the loss side of of the little program that I have. So, and then whatever I did for the day, money-wise, max dollars, I'll put it in there. And that's how I balance. How I know if I'm making money or losing money. By the end of the month, you'll know. You know right away. Um, fortunately, unfortunately for this in this business aspect most guys don't run a profit loss um, if you're solo do you really need to do that probably not you're probably making enough money but when you start adding employees you start adding extra cost what happens is you never run a profit loss you never look at what you're doing and then it comes to be about December Christmas time comes and you're spending money and you still got money left over because you did some work in November but then January comes you're thinking like man I really didn't make any money why is that and it's because all the bills are starting to pile up from you making all those decisions, those quick snap decisions, because you're still going to pay workman's comp through the winter. You're still going to pay your extra liability insurance, general liability, and, and all of that. And um, so you just add all those costs up, you know, and then break it down monthly. And you can even break it down to daily, and then you can break it down hourly. And then you know, okay, hourly, if I'm going to work nine hours today, this is what I need to make. To, to run this business and then whatever the profit is on top of that if you can make profit um, and then you can break that down to each lawn okay this is this is how much this lawn's cost to me I'm doing a forty dollar lawn I need to make sixty six dollars an hour I'm doing a forty dollar lawn that's actually taking me an hour there's a problem either the, there's something the lawn's priced wrong maybe the conditions aren't you know conducive for you to make money on that lawn you, you got to dump it you know I had to dump a lawn this year I was, I was charging 40 it was taking me 50 minutes to do it and it, it just it wasn't working out so I dumped it I had to, I dumped it I gave it to another guy and you know you have to make those hard decisions those are hard decisions to make you know like should I dump this yeah, yes you should dump that yard it, can you can you raise it up to $55 to where you can make money I don't know it's fifteen dollars so I don't know if they go for that that's you know sixty bucks a month probably not so you know those are the questions you need to ask yourself those are the you know how do you fix whatever it is you need to fix but the first thing you need to do is definitely look at these numbers make sure you're making money make sure that the lawns that are there they're making money if they're not making money uh, generally you're not gonna get a you're not gonna raise a lawn five dollars in one year it's just not gonna happen I mean if you're not going to be able to go through your whole list. Okay, five dollars. Everyone's getting raised five dollars. You can do two or three maybe and get away with it, but you'll lose probably a good amount if you you went. Say you had a bunch of twenty-five dollar lawns. You want to take them all to thirty. Uh, I don't think it's going to work out too well. It hasn't worked out well for me. But doing two dollars here, a dollar there, it works out pretty well. 
but adjusting the numbers, um, pricing the lawn right the first time. Uh, when I the lawn I dumped this year was in a neighborhood where I have a lot of saturation, and I just kind of drove up there, and you know he he came and got me, and uh, I was cutting these other couple lawns, and the neighborhood they're all about the same amount, it's in a development, so I just ran up, I stood on the corner of his property, looked at it, yeah, forty bucks, and he's like, oh sure that's great, okay so sign me up, so I did it for about two and a half months, April, May, June, in the first week in July, and then I finally dumped it. It just I couldn't make money on it. And it was bringing my dollar per hour. And, and now listen to me. If you're doing a lawn for forty dollars and it's not covering your hourly what you need to make in this business, why are you doing it? You own the business. It's your decision. You know, you don't do work just to do it. Get get rid of some stuff. You know, what I mean, it, it wasn't cutting the mustard. Wasn't making what I needed to make. So it had to leave. Having said all that. What is your dollar per hour to, to run your business? That's that's basically what it comes down to. And that's how I do it. Good question and answer. I hope these little video series are, are, are helping you out, uh, you guys out there on YouTube. Um, I want you to make maximum profit. I also want you to have time to spend with your family. I also want you to, 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 to not be so focused on work and money. Um, Money's good to have. I've been broke and I've had money. Having money is definitely better. But at the same time, don't be so focused on, you know, money, 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 money that you, you miss out on, on the, the greatest opportunities in life. Um, you, you know, when it's all said and done, I've said this before, you're not going to. You're not going to sit there and say, oh man, I wish I would cut my Monday route when it's all said and done. You're sitting there at the hospital and. You know, it's time to, to move from this world to another world. Um, you're not going to be thinking about the money. Um, enjoying enjoying your life, you know, taking time to enjoy your life is, is very important. And um, that's my time. That's my answer to your question. You guys have a good one. Bye.